So a very quick video, if you've just updated uh, Windows 10 to version 1709 um, the build I've got at the moment is 16299.19 then you might notice um, that this has happened. Um, it's a cold boot so I'll turn the PC on and we'll see what it does. So it sort of starts up and we get to the boot uh, little window and that's it it just hangs there on boot on cold boot specifically so if i now press the power button turn it off and then press the power button again to turn it back on then uh, let's see what happens now and what we get now is the window and the dancing dots. So it's booting now and here comes the desktop. There it is. So uh, on a cold boot it hangs and then when you restart it, it seems to boot normally. Uh, that's just after the recent um, features update. This is how you fix it until Microsoft actually do. What you do is you go to the, the little search box and you type in control and you get control panel up, system and security, power options, choose what the power buttons do, change settings that are currently unavailable and where it says turn on fast start at recommended, untick it. Click save changes, close all your windows and I'll shut it down and then we'll see if it starts up. Uh, this happened before with um, on another video I've made about Realtek Audio not initialising correctly when Fast Start's enabled. This is a separate problem fixed in exactly the same way. Um, and it's only happened recently since the 1709 features update. Um, so check your version of Windows and see if you've got 1709. And then see if it does it. We're going to know if it does it because you can turn the machine on and it won't boot. Uh, so now um, that's been off for a little while so technically that's now a cold boot so if I press the power button now uh, we should get uh, it booting okay uh, well it fast start is obviously designed to make Windows 10 uh, initially boot faster uh, with a modern machine with SSDs in whether that makes any difference at all is um, open to uh, debate because that's far, remember, I've turned off Fast Start and that's it booting anyway. And it's booted the desktop probably about the same, it might be a few seconds longer. Um, and obviously, it's worked. So, um, if your machine does that after the update, then Fast Start is the problem and the update broke Fast Start. Um, so, uh, if you like the video and it's helped you and it's solved a problem, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, any comments, stick them in the comments. Um, and thanks for watching.